of the most useful tools in Camera Raw are the white balance and color sampler eyedroppers. Now each of these tools assist in establishing a sound foundation from which you can accurately make color balance adjustments to your photographs. Now if we go up the top left hand corner you'll notice you have the tools menu and the third one in from the left is the white balance tool. You can either click on it or press I on your keyboard to bring it up. Now the white balance tool allows you to pick or choose an area in your photo that you believe to be neutral. So neutral values are simply representative of things like say a white shirt or a white cloud or if you're looking for something closer to uh, an 18% grey there could be something similar to uh, a rock or concrete or in this case you've got headstones and um, statues that you can choose as being your neutral values. And once you actually go and start playing around with this tool, you'll notice as you click on different areas, the tool itself will actually automatically correct the white balance adjustments in the basic panel across here on the right hand side. You'll notice that the actual temperature and tint sliders will actually start to change. So if I just start clicking around here for some different values, you'll notice that those are automatically changing as I actually, every time I click on a certain area. Now for this particular um, image, I believe that uh, just up here around the sort of darker areas or mid-tone areas of this actual statue are going to be representative of a nice sort of white balance. And what you'll notice is, now if you go up to the right hand uh, top corner where you've got the histogram, just underneath that you have the RGB values that are associated with where the eyedropper is being hovered over. So you can see now that the adjustment that's been made to the temperature and the tint slider has now balanced all three colors so they're almost identical. There's the, the reds out by one unit. So that it's, it's almost a perfect um, neutral value that it's actually gone and created for us. So it's really quite neat in that respect. And if I go around and we just click on a couple different areas, you'll notice, so at the moment, up the top here, it's gone to uh, 123, 123, 124. Now if I just scroll over to a different value, you'll notice that, say this one is sitting at 159, 160, 152. And if I click on it, now it becomes 160, 159, 158. So it becomes very uh, close to being accurate and, and neutral in value once again. So that's essentially what the white balance tool does. Beside the white balance tool is the color sampler tool, which is identical to that that is found in Photoshop. Now if we go up to our tools menu, you'll notice that it's fourth in from the left. So if we click on the color sampler tool or press S on the keyboard, it'll bring it up. Now unlike the white balance tool, it won't actually make corrections to your images. Instead, it allows you to sample multiple areas within your image and monitor those values as you make changes to your image in real time. So this is extremely useful uh, if you'd like to make sure that your highlights, greys and blacks remain neutral and free of any color casts throughout the editing process. So you're allowed to add up to nine color samplers to your image. So to start off with, let's add one to the neutral area here that I like. And we'll add one to the blacks. And let's say, for example, I'm not going to add one to the autumn foliage because that's going to be a little bit hard to sort of judge. But we could add one to the, the, the pole that sort of goes around the actual um, headstone and the actual grave itself. So there, I've added three... Uh, color samplers and as you can see up the top here I've got one two and three now they're the values that actually are being sampled by those color samplers so what you'd essentially want to do as you're making your adjustments you'd like to sort of make sure that those values are all uh, quite similar in order to uh, avoid color cast so for example in the uh, shadows at the moment you see that the reds a lot higher than the green and the blue so you try and balance those out as you're making adjustments or if you even if you use the white balance tool to begin with and you get a neutral white balance as you make further corrections you may actually throw that white balance off again so it gives you something to sort of judge and monitor the the actual corrections that you're making to your images so it is extremely useful now if you'd like to remove one of the color samplers that you've actually added if you hold down the alt key and hover over one 
you'll notice the little scissors icon uh, appears. Now all you need to do is click on the one you'd like to remove and as you can see it has removed it from the image. Now the other alternative is to go up the top here and just go clear samplers which removes all samplers from the image itself. So as you can see both of these tools complement each other and if you were to hold down the shift key when you're working with either of these two two tools itself you'll notice whoa that's really quite a, quite dramatic you'll notice that um, it actually toggles between either one of these tools um, as you can see here I, I'm currently on the white balance tool I remove the shift key and now I'm back to the uh, color sampler tool which I was set on originally so that's quite neat for jumping between tools uh, as you're actually working and making color corrections to your images.